Hey everybody, welcome back to Pikmin. Well, the finale of Pikmin, actually. Today, we go to the final trial. We've gotten all the ship parts from the other areas. So, this is it. Last one. Let's go. Before we start... God, I love this music. It's just, it's, it's very triumphant, and it's just such a good song. So, I'm gonna get 10 of blue, uh, 10 of each type of Pikmin out except for blue, so I'm gonna get 80 out for a good reason. So, this is a very, uh, organized plan, obviously. I'm gonna throw all my reds over here for now, so I have them for later. And I will need them for later. That all of them? Okay, that's all of them. I'll also throw my yellows over to this little island thing over here. Because I will again uh, need them for later. And the blues, we're actually going to just take on over here and have start working on this bridge each half. So, just start throwing a bunch up there until I have 40 left, because that should be then 40 Pikmin working on the bridge. And there's two bridges we need to work on, so let's have half and half. The final trial is a great area. Uh, it's very short because it is basically just, you know, this final little puzzle bit and then the final boss. But uh, it, it involves uh, using all three of your Pikmin for sort of uh, exclusive features, which is great. Even yellows, which is amazing that they found another use for them. Uh, though, not really another use, but a way to incorporate them. The, the yellows are actually super important in this final area. So uh, don't kill all of them, but you can kill 30. Or 36 or however many I killed. So we need to get yellows over here to get some bomb rocks. I'm actually gonna get a top-down view so I can see if I'm throwing into this thing properly. And even then I fail. Okay, fantastic. Well, they just need to get bomb rocks. Uh, they'll manage. I think that's all of them. Now there's more. Uh, do I have six? Six bomb rocks? That's all I need. Um, seven, okay. Well, I have one to spare then in case I need it. So... Then just throw all these over there. Again, this is a lot harder to do on the GameCube version because you need to be very precise in order to, to get your Pikmin over this um, this water area. So we're just going to leave those guys there. We don't need them. Uh, I basically took 10 yellows, one just to make it easier on my head remembering things, and two uh, in case you don't want uh, something went wrong or anything. So the reds here, we're going to lead over here past this fire and to this box on the other side of this bridge so they can do that and uh looks like the bridge over here is finished are both bridges finished both bridges are finished fantastic so now all we have to do we don't really need more blues so i'm just gonna go and put these ones back uh blues now are their roles kind of over and uh instead i guess i'll get those other blues as well in a moment i'll get them in a minute we'll put the uh the bomb rocks to work first Uh, that's not enough to finish the- oh, maybe it is. Okay. So, I do actually need these bomb rocks. What am I doing? Um, so let's leave you guys here. And I will grab these blues. Again, we don't really need blues anymore. So, are there any more of there? Yeah, there's one or two, so. You guys wait here. I will go grab the blues. Separate. Alright, fantastic. So, yeah, blues, your role's done. But they were super cool Pikmin to use, super fun. Um, well, I guess I guess their role's sort of more basic than anything. They're kind of just the Pikmin... I mean, they're more useful than yellows, but I think their main feature is kind of less interesting overall. Like, yellows do have the feature of having bomb rocks. That's kind of cool. They don't use it much. I wish there were more enemies that you needed to use bomb rocks for or something, but... In theory, it's kind of a cool idea. So I'm going to get 25 yellows out. And the rest in reds. And then we'll just sort of go on towards the end. Uh, I think there is some nectar around the area. Not around this area, but in general. Uh, so we'll be working to get that. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because it's kind of inconvenient, honestly. Uh, I'm keeping these bomb rocks for a reason, by the way. We do need bomb rocks still. 
Uh, there is a wall coming up as well, but that's not what we need them for. We actually need them for the final boss, so... There is some nectar over here, I think, but frankly, getting your Pikmin up a small ledge like that is just a pain, so... I can worry about it. With this many Pikmin, we should break down this wall super fast, except for this one slacker over here. Two slackers, wow. Disappointed. Do not get near that yet. That is not something you want to touch. But just get it, sneak around it, and uh, start breaking down that wall. See him moving a bit over there. Those are kind of cool, but trust me, you don't really want to mess with it right now. So, the plan is just take all these yellow Pikmin around and start gathering bomb rocks. We will need a lot of bomb rocks for this. So, the more the merrier. Uh, I guess that supplies run out. So there should be another over here. Yes, okay. Uh, there's also nectar on these sides, but I'm not really gonna worry about the nectar. Honestly, it's just like, eh, I don't really need it. It'd be nice to have, for sure. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, is that all for that one? Looks like it. So we have three that don't have bomb rocks. Um, It's not necessary that they do. It would be nice for sure, but it's not really a necessity. So, how do I want to do this? Well, hope the reds go that way. Okay, good. Perfect. So, next plan is to put one bomb rock Pikmin there. Uh, if, oh. Okay, you get up there with your buds. You'll be fine. I want everything, uh, you might, you guys might be a bit too close to the gate. You want everything kind of behind this gate. So, let's walk up and it's the Emperor Ball Blacks. This is the final boss of Pikmin. His strategy is he's going to lash out his tongue and try to lick up all your Pikmin. What you want to do is leave a Pikmin for, him, for a Pikmin to throw a bomb rock into his mouth. And then just throw Pikmin onto his face. And that went really well. Usually, um, the Pikmin gets eaten, in my experience. Um, if the Pikmin does get eaten and he's holding a bomb rock, the Pikmin, uh, whether he still will be stunned, you will just lose the Pikmin as well. And it'll be stunned for a shorter time. If you stun him with only the bomb rock, the explosion is, I guess, stronger. Or if you, uh, I guess it's not dampened at all by the Pikmin corpse. I don't know. You are an idiot! Oh my god. Okay, well, fun. Uh, you guys, again, a bit too close for my liking. This thing uh, will not lash its tongue out past this gate for some reason. Even though it very much could, but it just doesn't. Oh, perfect, perfect. This is going really well. This fight either goes really, really well, or it goes absolutely terribly. So, this is going well. That's nice. Uh, almost down to half health. Can we get him there? Yes, we can. We got him past it. All right. Awesome. Let's get everyone out of there. All right, and back over here. Okay. Just gotta grab one more bomb rock, Pikmin. And at half health, the Emperor Ballblacks will start doing a jump attack. He'll just jump in the air and crash down uh, where you are. And at that point, you just want to get out of the arena as fast as possible. Like right now, just get out of there. Did he kill him? No, he didn't. Fantastic. And just throw him there. Hopefully the Ballblacks opens his mouth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get, oh, guys, get over here and throw. You don't want to throw him on the mossy part. You do want to throw him on the face. The mossy part cannot be hurt. And uh, I don't know if we can get him in this round, but hopefully. Come on, come on. Nah, not quite. Now we're in a bad situation. He's going to jump and he's going to kill so many Pikmin. And we're on the wrong side of the arena for this. So we just got to get everyone over there. There's so, so much trying to hit his feet. Please don't try to hit his feet. That's not really going to do anything. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Drop you off. And one more good hit should do it. This is going really well. Usually I lose like a ton of Pikmin just because things just don't go well for whatever reason. Come on, buddy. Notice me? Okay, you're jumping. Oh, you're jumping. Oh, fantastic. Uh, the reason I'm not taking like a whole squad in is because if one bomb rock Pikmin explodes because he stomps on them or something, then it will just set off a chain reaction and so many Pikmin will die. I don't want that to happen. What are you doing? Open your mouth, dude. Um, okay, well, you guys are in the arena. That's really bad, so get out. I was kind of worried he was going to target them because I noticed they weren't uh, hiding properly. They still aren't. What are you guys doing? Just hide. There we go. Don't you know that death is imminent? Just need the one. Just need one. The one. Okay. 
around it. Please throw it in the mouth. I'm just going to trust that you will. Awesome. And go, 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 go. Come on, finish him off. And please. Yes, all right. And he's dead. He spits out the final ship part. And he just sort of goes into the ground. But this is the secret safe. Full as ever. And from his corpse pops out some pellet posies, which is kind of useless at this point because we have... We don't have any money for Pikmin. Well, actually, I guess they thought, well, maybe you're going to lose so many Pikmin to the Emperor Ball Blacks that, well, you're going to need them. Or you're going to need some more uh, Pikmin afterwards, so... That's, I guess, their thinking to leave behind some pellet posies for you. Uh, so, I believe you can carry up to... I think that... I think that can have 85 carriers. Fun fact, though, that actually requires, like, 85 Pikmin, I think, to carry in the Japanese version. So they cut it down a lot here. That's probably why they leave this pallet pose so you can actually, like, have enough Pikmin. Um, but now that we are... We have the final ship part, I'm uh, gonna kill all these yellow Pikmin because I don't care anymore. So, come over here, guys. So, it's been nice knowing it. Really, it has. You, you are almost a great help. In theory, you were because you have all these bomb locks. But it's time for this to end. You guys are the most useless type Pikmin in this game. And we have to kill you off before you're more helpful in Pikmin 2. At least you weren't killed by explosions. I mean, I would think that's worse. I would rather drown than explode. That's probably not true. But, um... Yeah. All dead. Their only legacy is two bomb rocks. Vest dissipated. I think there are some yellows carrying this, right? Probably. Actually, I don't think there are. There aren't. I'm pretty sure. Because we used all the yellows to kill the ball blacks. Might be a couple here and there. Actually, I can see one right there. Never mind. So they, there's a few survivors, but for the most part, outside of the onion, they're dead. And that's it. We've got an every ship part. We can go home to Hokorite. And here's our stats. 30 parts in 13 days. I've done better, but oh well. Um, 565 surviving Pikmin. Again, I've done better, but that's mostly because I killed plenty. And total of 277 Pikmin lost, which is the same as my second score. What? That's insane. Okay. And we sprouted a total of 3,187 Pikmin. 
Wow, okay, that's a lot. Alright. And there's all the parts. The ones labeled with blue text are the ones that are not necessary. Interestingly, yeah, the secret safe is not necessary. You do not have to fight the uh, Emperor Ballblacks. But to get the best ending, you do. Because yes, what we saw just then was the best ending. But there are two others, as you might guess, of course. There's one where you just don't get all the ship parts, or any of the ship parts. Rather, enough of the ship parts. There we go, that's the correct terminology. And uh, you don't escape. You can't escape. Uh, we'll be showing that off in another, in another video. And uh, there's also the good ending, where if you don't get all of the uh, unnecessary parts there. So, we'll be showing that off later, but... For now, that's Pikmin. Go and save. And that's it. By the way, that final song, uh, when the, all the uh, Pikmin onions were taking off, that song is, uh, I believe, called Escape, Go to Planet Hokote. And it's so nice. It's such a good song. This credit song is fantastic, too. Uh, very, very calming, but very, very, just very nice. I love it. Pikmin is such a great game. I'm so glad we get more games in the series, so, sort of. I mean, we get them like, every hundred years. Um, uh, apparently, Pikmin 4 is in development, which is interesting. Uh, it's apparently almost done, so it's probably coming out for the Switch at some point. Uh, hopefully, they weren't talking about Hey Pikmin when they meant Pikmin 4, because that would be annoying, but... We'll see, I guess, if a Pikmin 4 actually happens. Considering it's not called Pikmin 4 and they explicitly said Pikmin 4, it's probably not Hey Pikmin, but hey, who knows. But yeah, Pikmin. Um, it's not my favorite Pikmin game, but I've only played Pikmin 1 and 3, and there's only three Pikmin games, so it's not really saying that much. It's a fantastic game, though. Um, some people don't like the time management thing or the time limit thing with 30 days and generally, you know, 15 minutes a day. Uh, I don't mind it. I think it really actually enhances the game, to be honest with you. I think it's great. Um, I love working within that time limit and finding strategies and, and uh, routes that speed up my flow, uh, my workflow, and get me done faster. Uh, I've also never known anyone that's ever run out of the time limit of this game uh, by naturally playing it. So the 30 minute time limit isn't really a, um, it's like daytime, I'd rather. It's not really a huge deal. It's mainly something to, uh, kind of stress you out, admittedly. Uh, and make you, you know, think, okay, well, how best can I do this? What, uh, how many things can I do at once while still being, you know, pretty efficient about things? I love it. I think it does it the best out of the three games, because in Pikmin 2, there isn't a time limit. And in Pikmin 3, there isn't. But you have like a food limit, but the food barely matters because you get enough food in that game to get you through. So... Yeah. Anyway! So... so <laughs> now we get to see a enemy reel of all the enemies in the game. And there's two interesting things about it. One... Um... The guy playing is really, really bad at this game. <laughs> uh, and two, it's actually from the beta versions of Pikmin. Um, some things are different, like we can see some- Oh, I, I didn't even mention those enemies ever. Those are, I think, Will-O-Wisps, maybe? I don't remember their name. The name flashed up on screen right now. Uh, they're just things that carry nectar. But, uh, we saw them in the forest, uh, naval, which they weren't there, otherwise. Uh, three snaggrits very close to one another here in the Forest of Hope. Uh, a blue candy bot bud right there in the distant spring, which- Also, normal bulb orbs, which, um... Those are, they're replaced by ball bears in the final game. Very interesting. Also, I love this background they made for the Wii version. I think it's really, really cool. Just uh, how it kind of goes to sunset. Kind of, um, contrast with how low quality the recording is. You know, it looks really nice, so whatever. And yeah, somehow... These things belong to a completely different species than normal ball bear or ball borbs. Don't know how, because they look exactly the same, but hey, whatever. I do like how they kind of made like scientific uh, families for these creatures in this game. Why are you fighting a fiery blowhog with blue Pikmin? What the hell, man? Whoever recorded this 
they they clearly weren't very good at the game. Uh, but there's other examples like, okay, yeah, here, here's the Gulix in the Force Naval. Obviously, he's at the Impact site otherwise, so... Yeah, really cool uh, beta version uh, differences you can see in uh, in Pikmin. Uh, I believe in Pikmin's also like a Mario model, but that's probably just because uh, it was made by Miyamoto and they probably used Mario as like a some example model or some sort. I don't know. Uh, we can also see, I think that's some ship part. It looks very different, so I can't really tell. Maybe they're a repair type bolt. Uh, it's not in the location it should be. So, Also, are there any flint beetles in... Also, some Muta's here in the Distant Spring. Muta being in the Distant Spring would actually make more sense, given, like, um... Uh, the Smoky Frog's there, and if the Smoky Frog is a... Uh... Either a relative of the Mamuta, or like a, uh... Like, what it is before it's born. Then that would make sense, but instead it's in the Impact Site, so... I guess I just wanted to make the Impact Site more interesting. Uh, because otherwise this is an area where you get Pikmin, basically. And they want to add, like, two secretish enemies, so... Fuck this guy, apparently. I never even mentioned his gimmick. Um, his thing is that if you don't kill him in one hit, in one, uh, cycle, he will actually poison your Pikmin. So I guess in a sense he's a poison enemy, but he actually controls them, in a sense. They will fight you and your other Pikmin, and you have to kill them. It's a really cool idea for an enemy, and I kind of wish there were more of them. But unfortunately, he's the only one of his kind in this game, so... You don't get to see, uh, rebellious Pikmin that much. But they do exist, and it's kind of cool, so... I try to kill them as fast as possible so that doesn't happen, and I don't have to worry about, um... You know, killing my own friends, but, you know... Shit happens, sometimes you gotta. Uh, the Smoky Paw, Gulix, the Mimita, they all show up in this enemy reel even if you hadn't fight them. Uh, it didn't fight them in the normal game. And yeah, thought to be a malformed larval Mamuta. Uh, which is weird, because like, you think they just wouldn't include them, but I guess they want you to know they exist, so you can actually go find them. I think the Bulbor model also looks slightly different. It looks a bit more uh, slim, like in a sense. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm just looking at it weird. Also a pearly clamp clamp here in the, uh, the distant spring. <laughs> Which would make sense. You'd think well, probably clam comes to be in the big water area. You know, that's where clams usually would be, but whatever. This thing also seems a lot more boring, like a lot less uh, anything in the scenery, just sort of void. Again, it's a beta version, so I'm not like judging anything, but uh, it's kind of interesting that they didn't like film this in the final version. But I guess they, they needed to get the game done time for the GameCube launch, so they just did things ahead of time, and then when they made massive changes to the game, they didn't have time to um, re-record the whole thing. And uh, we got a little, we got one bonus video coming up, nothing major, but the other endings and an extra mode you get for beating the game. So we'll cover that next time. See you guys then.